we're talking about psoriasis and how to turn around psoriasis very quickly by addressing root causes. Welcome to today's uh, interview that we're doing, and we're doing an interview with Amanda today, and we're talking about psoriasis and how to turn around psoriasis very quickly by addressing root causes. I'm Dr. Maggie Yu, and I'm an integrative physician, and we have an online program focusing on transforming autoimmune disease naturally. For those of you that are just joining us right now, it'd be great if right now you can go ahead and put where you're watching from in the demographic, um, just in the comment section, that'd be great. And if you think that there's anyone that can benefit from hearing about psoriasis, go ahead and put their name in the comment section. It'll be automatically shared with them. And you can share this recording right away to your personal page or to your group, uh, for, to your autoimmune disease group, if you feel other people could benefit from this as well. And without further ado, what I would love to do right now is uh, I would like to introduce Amanda uh, and also my co-host. Um, Frankie is our co-host. I'm going to have her do a quick intro. Hey guys, uh, my name is Frankie Nywad and I am the functional nutritionist on um, the Transform Autoimmune team. And again, just to reiterate what Maggie said, um, if you can support our uh, Amanda today during the interview by giving us some hearts and some thumbs up, we would really appreciate it. And I'm so happy to get to be here with you guys. Great. And so Amanda, I would love for you to introduce yourself. Amanda is a recent graduate in our program. She just graduated a couple weeks ago. And so I love to interview people right as they're coming out after um, eight weeks and to really show you guys where they were and where they are now. So without further ado, here's Amanda. Hi, good afternoon or morning for you in the West Coast. Um, my name is Amanda. I am a pharmacist. I've been practicing pharmacy for over 20 years and I've been dealing with psoriasis for uh, over 15 years. And IBS symptoms um, for as far back as I can remember, but it got really bad this summer. So that's when I um, went and saw a GI doctor who wanted to prescribe me on mega dose antibiotics and PBI. And of course I rejected that. And so I went on a search and I came across this program. Um, reading the caption that says healing autoimmune disease naturally. And so that's when I um, started to read about Dr. Maggie's um, story and her client story and then watch some live interviews and made the initial call. And, um, and I did not sign on to the program after the initial call, so, um, but, um, after searching and um, thinking about um, the program, how um, Dr. Maggie is an expert on autoimmune disease and hormones, I figure that you know she was the best person to help me. So, and uh, I am grateful I did this program. Awesome. So Amanda, so I want to ask you some questions first. Let's set the stage a little bit, which is, you know, you have a diagnosis of autoimmune disease, which a lot of people don't even know it's autoimmune. So a lot of people don't even know that psoriasis is, uh, is autoimmune. So for those of you that are watching, it is autoimmune. And there's many other diagnoses that people have no idea are, are actual autoimmune diseases like diabetes. Um, so there's a lot of diagnosis, the uh, chronic disease states that we deal with that no one has an idea is based in an autoimmune process in your body. So let's back up a little bit. I know that you were diagnosed with psoriasis, but when you look back now that you've done the program, how many years would you say you've been suffering with autoimmune disease symptoms for? Now that you look at the totality of how many other targets are actually under attack in your autoimmune disease? Um, I would say over 30 years. So. Yeah, so looking back, I, I, um, I had autoimmune disease signs and symptoms way back in high school. So I remember having hair loss back then during my junior year and IBS symptoms as far back, you know, you know, as far as I can remember, I had stomach issues. Um, of course, like I said, I didn't do anything about it because, you know, it wasn't really affecting my life well, other than the hair loss part that did affect my life greatly. And I saw many doctors about that and tried many different treatments. Uh, nothing worked on that. Um, but, um, 
Yeah. So, I mean, I think that started it. So, um, and then over the years, it probably progressed. And then I was diagnosed with um, psoriasis um, about 15 years ago. And um, yeah. So next question I have for you is you're graduated about two weeks ago. And so this is about 10 weeks since we first met two months ago. Correct. And you've been dealing with symptoms for 30 years. So I want to know, and everyone wants to know, where are you at with your symptoms now, just two months later? Um, I'm happy to report that, you know, I don't have the psoriasis that I've had for, you know, physically the, the, the itching, the cresting um, for over 15 years, um, they're gone. So I still have the scars, but like, you know, they're not, you know, flaring ups anymore. I don't have the rashes and, um, and the itchiness that sometimes woke me up in the middle of the night because it was so bad that I had to, you know, wake up and apply some topical steroids on it so that, you know, it can calm down my immune system, suppress my immune system so I can go to back to sleep. So yes, no, um, you know, my, I, do not have psoriasis anymore. So that that was amazing for me. And it, and the symptoms started, you know, subsiding like after the third week. So after mm -hmm. after I got my food intolerance test back, it's like yeah, it's like I took out the food that I was highly sensitive to, and you know, yeah. sure enough, my symptoms like went away. Mm -hmm. And Amanda, just like so many people, even though psoriasis is what brought you to our program, or one diagnosis brings someone to the program, what are other things that, you, that you're that you able to do now that you weren't able to do before the program? What other ways, in addition to the psoriasis, has your life changed? I mean, yes, when I contacted Maggie, it's like, I, I was like, you know, I wanted to find out the root cause to my um, psoriasis. I didn't know IBS was related. And then Maggie told me, you know, IBS is related, is linked to autoimmune disease. I, I didn't know that. So, and, um, me, and of course, you know, um, that was also another reason too, uh, was like, you know, the bloating, the distension, the gas, the pain, my gut issue was, um, you know, now it's, now I can eat and, and um, not having mm -hmm. the symptom as well. So yes, I mean, I signed on to the program just you know, looking for solution for my psoriasis, but I, I, I got so much more than that. So well, we didn't even get into your hormones. Like, yeah, I know. I mean, so you, not only does psoriasis skin get better, your GI, your gut symptoms with all the bloating, cramping is, is better. Your food clarity is a lot better, exactly knowing what foods. And Correct. then or that we're just going to talk about really briefly was you had some hormonal symptoms that you didn't even expect was going to be addressed or be relieved. Correct. Yes. Let's talk yeah. about that. Yes. Um, so, I mean, other symptoms prior to the program was like, you know, insomnia, which I, you know, related to um, hormones. Um, uh, the brain fog and the memory lapse and, you know, just the forgetfulness. So, Yes, I think you told me that, you know, I have a hormone of a 60, 70 year old lady. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a stage two adrenal fatigue. <laughs> um, yes, um, that was huge. So that was, you know, unexpected, um, you know, a, a, a plus um, that, you know, I had not anticipated of um, getting help for that. I did. So um, that was great. Um, I know that hormone takes a while to, uh, you know, to bring back to normal mm -hmm. level. So, but I am feeling better already. I'm sleeping better. And um, I don't have as many, um, actually, I think, very infrequent hot flashes. Um, <laughs> And Amanda, can I just ask you a couple more questions about, you know, kind of linking back to what you were saying about the psoriasis and the gut issues as well? Because, you know, one of the things that we really see in the program is that the gut issues, they affect the hormone balance, right? They were also affecting your skin and the psoriasis. One of the tenets of our um, functional nutrition that we talk about a lot is that the inner skin in the gut 
is really just a reflection in the outer skin, what we see on of, of issues in the psoriasis and other skin conditions. So with the food freedom piece um, that you now have, how has that changed your day-to-day -day life with food and, and maybe going out to eat or eating with your family? What does that look, what does true food freedom look like for you now? Oh, it's great. I mean, you know. Um, <laughs> you love food. You I, love food. So I love food. I love food. Yes, I, I used to have a nickname. I have two stomachs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Um, I can eat a whole meal after I'm full. <laughs> so, um, no, it's great. Now I know exactly what I can eat and what I cannot eat, which is fine. Um, you know, I'm not afraid to go out to either restaurants and and to family gatherings and so yeah no that, that that is huge i mean yes i i have to give up eggs and um almond um pineapples and grapes and apple but but you know fine. exactly what those foods are right you know? exactly yeah. I, right i know what they can do to me so i can choose to eat them but you know i might not feel so well <laughs> afterwards but you know so, Another thing that we worked a lot around food was blood sugar regulation for you, Amanda. I remember, you know, and like so many people in our program, you work a full-time position, you're busy during the day, you know, so making food changes, it's a real commitment to dig in and, and make that a part of your routine. Yes, I, um, I, I didn't think blood sugar balance was my issue, but that was a big issue for me, yes. Um, and uh, now understanding the blood sugar balance piece of it, um, I'm able to uh, prepare my food, my meal, you know, going to work so that I don't get those crashes like, you know, at one o'clock or three o'clock. Um, I remember on the calls, you would literally show us the stacks and stacks of all of your Tupperware that you had prepared for the day to get you through, a, you know, an eight, 10 hour shift. And I think that, that you were such an example to other people in the program and our group coaching to be able to show, this is what I'm doing. I'm committing to this. I'm, yes, I'm busy, but I'm making the time for myself. Exactly. Yes. I mean, this program is not like, you know, it, it, it's not like, it's not a, a, a patient, doctor patient type of program. It's an educational program, but plus you get the, the individual treatment. So you have to, you know, you, you have to, to put in the work. So it's in the pudding. So you have to do the work. So <laughs> the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Maggie and, 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 you know, and Frankie and you are not going to just hand everything to us. It's like, oh, here's the cure. No, we actually have to, you know, learn the material and, and utilize that, you know, and apply it to us. So, I mean, I, I was eating all the, like, the right food, but the healthy food, but I wasn't, like, putting it together properly. So I wasn't, like, balancing my sugar. I was eating fruit, like, you know, and then I was eating vegetable, and then I was eating meat, like, you know, all, like, you know, different hours of the day or just whenever I come across, I, I, you know, when I feel hungry, I would just put something in my mouth. Well, it just really highlights a really good point, Amanda, which is that a lot of people don't realize, I think one of the biggest mistakes people make with blood sugars, they think it's all about cutting sugar. Yes. Yes. You know, yes. or just eating, you know, that there's other errors that people make with food, but one of the errors that people make with blood sugars, they think it's about cutting sugar. And to me, it's not because one of the things that's really important for people to recognize is that, and this is a secret. So when you hit high blood sugar or low blood sugar, it's the swing back and forth between it that actually triggers the autoimmune attack. So it's not about preventing just high blood sugar. It's about how do you stabilize blood sugar throughout the day? And that's something mm -hmm. you learned. That's a hack. That's a huge yeah. hack in autoimmune disease. Yes, yes. Yes. And, I, and with, you know, with looking at gut health from that lens, it's like you fit, you decide and learn how it's like the when and the what, and then like the how to absorb more. Cause actually, you know, you found in the program that leaky gut was a big issue for you as well. And so how to heal and seal that gut is a huge, huge win for you in the program as well. Yes. Talk a little bit about that, how that changed your, your perspective on what was going on with your gut. I mean, absolutely. Yes. My gut right now, I think it's, it's, 
it's it's healing. I don't think it's a hundred percent healed yet, but it it you know, I mean, I don't have the bloating and and the the abdominal distensions when I eat. Um, of course, if I choose to eat the food that I'm intolerant to, of course, I'm going to get that symptom. But no, it, it it's huge. Yes, it's 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 you know healing your guts and sealing it so that the food particle doesn't pass through into the bloodstream and your immune system just jump all over it and causing mm -hmm. all the you know signs and symptoms of that. Attack. You're so smart, Amanda. You are so smart with all this information. Yeah, I, I love it. Like, no, I'm so grateful because I can see everything now. I mean, I knew what my problem was. I knew that auto I mean psoriasis was an autoimmune disease for a long time. But I just didn't know that you can actually do something about it in a natural way instead of just using, you know, medication to suppress the immune system to, you know, to stop the attack. But, you know, that's huge. And, you know, I am just so grateful. So, you know, Amanda, something that you had mentioned was that you were pre um, preoccupied with worrying about your immune system prior to the program. Oh, yes, yes. You were consumed with it. Yes, yes. Where are you at now with what you spend your uh, brain power on? What, what occupies your mental real estate now? I don't do that search anymore. <laughs> I don't spend time searching how to heal my autoimmune disease naturally anymore because I found it. So, um, so I, don't, I don't, you know, I don't waste time doing that anymore. Now I put my time on, you know, other things. I'm you know, I'm doing, more I'm doing more cooking. I'm trying to do, you know, trying to be creative, creating my, you know, new meal. So Amanda's new motto is, ain't nobody got time for that. No, no. <laughs> no. But that, I think that's another thing I agreed to come on to this, pro, to this interview here is to let people know that, you know, this program is the program. This is what healthcare should look like. <laughs> you guys embody everything, you know? You know, that's really a great point, Amanda. I mean, that's one of the questions people ask is, you know, uh, people start talking about like, why can't healthcare look like this? Why doesn't like, you know, like, why doesn't insurance cover care like this? Yeah, why doesn't? <laughs> I agree with you. I think there needs to be, a, I absolutely agree that this type of care where we actually, like our mission and our, our, my promise is I teach people how to fish. I don't throw fish at them. That's but yet our, our entire medical system is really focused around how do we throw fish at people to get them out of our office as quickly as possible, which yeah. doesn't bring about outcomes in something as complicated as autoimmune disease. To me, the solution in complex, complicated, chronic disease like autoimmune disease is patient education. Patients learning how to actually have self-advocacy. Patients learning some of the education, a lot of this education to learn how to navigate and become the fishermen and instead of just having fish thrown at them. But that is not how our insurance and our current medical care is being delivered. Um, med uh, insurance really covers medication, surgery, right. procedures, you know, really quick doctor's visits, and that's not conducive to being learning how to fish. Yeah. It's conducive so, to th getting fish thrown at you care. I call it band-aid care. It's true. It's true. It's very sad, but it's true. It's true. Yeah. So I love this, which is now that you have, uh, ain't nobody got time for, you know, the Google addiction that you had. Yes. Yes. Now I can put my mind at ease. It's like, you know, I, I don't have to worry about when, you know, where, you know, when and where is the next target? Because I knew, because I knew what autoimmune disease can do to my body. I, I know what once, you know, once you have one target, you can, you know, it, it can attack any other part of your body at any time. I mean, you know, um, I'm just thankful I don't have rheumatoid arthritis. I'm thankful I don't have lupus and, you know, many other big diagnoses that other, many of your other participants um, had and and I watch them through it so um. well a lot of people too like uh, some people will say oh psoriasis is just a skin condition why should right. I do this big program to turn my psoriasis around well you didn't realize it was related to your hormones it was related to your brain fog which is affecting your work it was related to your gut and bowel symptoms you've had for 30 years and it's related to the risk of you getting rheumatoid arthritis and multiple sclerosis later 
Exactly. You got to look at all those pieces to realize that's why I'm going to turn this around now. Time is not a neutral and destruction from autoimmune disease is not a neutral. Exactly. Yes. That's yeah. So question, what do you have time for now that you're not spending time on your Google addiction? Oh, I mean, you know, I, I, I have more time to, you know, do what I like to do. I mean, I, you know, I can do yoga more. I can choose to spend more time with my husband, <laughs> which he oftentimes <laughs> complain about, you don't spend time enough time with me. <laughs> so, you know, you know um, right, Amanda. It's I mean, true because I'm not really present because it's like, even though I'm spending time with him, but my mind is somewhere else. It's like, I'm, I'm half there. Right. So, not fully present because I'm thinking about something else because I'm and that's, that wasn't husband. just for your husband that was with your kids as well yes 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 what do you need what's I want you to notice what's different about now what is you with your interaction with your children what's different now well it's like um you know I I I'm not just I'm a big warner <laughs> I mean you know it's like I think with any with many parents or Asian parents, especially, you know, do this, do that, do that, do that. But now I'm trying to like, you know, show them how to um, take care of themselves by, you know, setting an example and not just like, you know, eat this, eat that. And I actually, um, I would actually pay for them to take this program because both of my children have autoimmune disease through this program. I, you know, I had them tested and they do have that. So um, I, I told them, I, you know, especially my son, he's in college. It's like here, I told him that I'm, part, I partic I'm participating in this program and you have this condition when you're ready, I would, you know, um, if you would consider, um, joining this program and learn about it and learn how to heal yourself. And Absolutely. So I think a couple things, I think about how many people have told us that when they do this program, it not just affects them. I feel like it's at least a three generational effect, which is that the generation above you have tons of autoimmunity going on because there's a huge genetic component in autoimmune disease. So yeah. you're affecting the people above you, parents, aunts, and uncles. You're affecting your generation, you and your spouse. You're affecting also the generation below you, which is that even if your children never do go through the program, what you've learned have already been changing their lives. Yes, absolutely. Especially my daughter right now. So she, she's um, living here with me and we just um, had her tested and she was tested for um, Hashimoto. So and I told her about it, what it, you know, what Hashimoto is and how she can take actions to um, prevent, um, you know, further attack of her thyroid and what she, you know, need to do. And I'm just so proud of her that, you know, she's willing to do that. So. I love it because what I say is, is that, you know, autoimmune disease is like Godzilla running all over town, which is all the different targets in your body. And you're trying to kill Godzilla while he's running all over town, which is difficult, which is what our program does. But uh, you know, what's even easier, man, in your children, kill him while he's an egg. Yes. How yes. much easier would that be? Yes, absolutely. Yes. It's, you know, I mean, she doesn't have the gut issues right now. She doesn't even have symptoms right now, other than, you know, a little, yeah, fatigue because um, she's um, I, um, iron deficient. Um, okay. So uh, I love this, um, what you've been able to do with your quality of the time with your husband and your kids. And you're also edu the educational piece of this is one of the ways that we actually affect our children and others around us is either by an example or a warning. And now you realize before, as hard as you were trying, you were a warning. <laughs> and right. now you're actually affecting them by being an example, which is a huge yes. difference here. Yes, it, it, it's huge. Yes. Um, yes. And so now, yeah, especially my daughter and my husband. So they're, they're great. I mean, you know, they're supporting this. And um, my husband's willing to give up his white rice. And my daughter is like, yes. And she loves pasta. So she's she's my pasta baby and now she you know she knows what she needs to do and she's willing to do that because 
Well, Amanda, something that people don't expect from their experience with uh, autoimmune disease or in any sort of program is the role of community. And I really want to ask you, what was your experience having a community for the first time around autoimmune disease for you? What was that like? How important was it? I, I think that was very important. I mean, you know, just every, every week we would get on these mastermind calls and I thought of it as like, you know, it's like a, we have this big family coming together for a meeting and we all have, you know, problems and we share our problem and you and frankly would, you know, troubleshoot each one, each problem and, um, and we would, you know, go leave the meeting with a plan for the, mm -hmm. for the week and we would come back the next week and see, okay, well, what works, what did not work and then let's, you know, we go from there. And also it was like, you know, I, I got to be like a fly on the wall. It was like, you know, I was just, you know, watching all the other members participant asking their questions. I mean, we all have different um, problems, but we have, we all have autoimmune, you know. And there's so much power in that, Amanda. And that's one of the things that we, we say a lot as well is that, you know, as Godzilla is running around creating havoc in so many people's lives, a lot of times in autoimmunity, we see so much isolation. We see so many people just trying to either, you know, find it on Google or find the right specialist, you know, so there's a real almost separation or isolation that happens for people in autoimmune, with autoimmune disease. And so I think bringing that community literally face to face week after week and really seeing that power of people coming together with education is a is a really wonderful thing that, that people get to experience in the program i mean for you come you know seeing that and experiencing that firsthand how how did that change for you you know just knowing how many people were out there with that same struggle with that same experience Yes, I mean, absolutely. I mean, you don't, you know, you don't feel like you're dealing with this alone. You're not alone. So you have this group of people with the same problem and many of them bigger, many more problem, bigger diagnoses than myself. And um, they were able to, you know, turn these around. I mean, when, when I started the program, I think Nympha was in her fifth or sixth week. Then it's mm -hmm. like, you know, at the, at, at the first call, it's like, you know, Nympha was on the call in bed. So, and then the following week, it's like she was out and about. And then like, you know, she kept moving forward. So she, you know, kept progressing. So that gave me hope. And, you know. Exactly. The other people in the program right. actually become mentors, right? right. That like people who are further around and then you got further along and you got to be that same type of mentor for other people coming into the program. So it's not just Maggie and I being mentors for you guys in the program. You guys become mentorship across the board for one another, which is a wonderful way to see that support come through. Absolutely. Yes. And then even after we graduated, after we left, you know, the eight weeks, I mean, we belong to this, um, Alumni. It keeps going. It and keeps alumni. going. Yeah, right, right. You know, it's like, you know, we keep supporting each other and um, helping each other. So it's like, you know, there's a party going on in that side too. So. Well, that was the other thing is, is like, people are like, oh my God, what happens after the eight weeks? I'm like, you've learned the skills to actually fish, first of all, number one, right. so you can fish right. for life. And number two, what is it like having the support of a community who kick ass, take names and chew bubble gum for the rest of your life? It's, that it's is the power of our alumni community. Every single one of them have gotten, th went through the same educational process and training as you. So it's not like it's a group. It's like fake experts. They're trying to sell something. There's some ulterior motives. These are all people ready to jump in and support you yes. for life. Yes, absolutely. No, it's, it's a, it's a great, great community and great group of people. And and, um, you know, we all want to help each other. So we want everybody to get better and um, lift, you know, we all try to lift each other up. And, mm -hmm. and I like to say too, and kind of just circle back to what we were saying at the beginning of the interview, like this is how healthcare changes. And this is exactly what you were saying. This is what healthcare should look like, right? A community of support around you, the right data and the right people leading the way. So thank you so much, Amanda. 
No, absolutely. Yes. Um, like I said, uh, this, yeah, this program embodies true healthcare and, you know, our healthcare system needs a facelift and this program is the, is, you know, is the, it's, you know, it's the initial, I mean, you know, more people participate in this type of um, program and learn how to heal themselves. Maybe insurance, maybe, you know, um, big insurance will look at this. They say, hey, you know, hey, this works. Maybe I should, you know. Well, think about how much actual money that is saved and suffering is saved if you don't get rheumatoid arthritis or multiple sclerosis, Amanda, right? And that's just one <laughs> person. Right. What right. if we get this to millions? Exactly. What would I mean, be the overall savings in healthcare costs and the elimination of suffering be like? Right. Billions. Billions of dollars. Billions, billions of dollars. Yep. Yeah, right now, yeah, the cost of healthcare is in the billions. So yeah, where it's it's the cost of healthcare is in the billions, throwing band aids at people. So I love this. Thank you for this great conversation, and it's a conversation that has to be had. And I love that you're a real person with out, real outcomes, and you have a real process and journey that you went through. And being so generous to share that with uh, our audience. No, absolutely. What I love is for people who are in our audience right now. If you could give Amanda a big heart, a big thumbs up. Um, if you're an alumni and you're watching this, please um, post in the comment section um, that you're alumni, you were with Amanda in the program, or you're with in the alumni group with her. She's a real person. You could talk about um, say that you're an alumni, and just people then can start posting questions, and if the alumni can help answer questions as well. Um, I love providing real people and real solutions to people, and real outcomes. Now, for those of you that are watching that don't know what our program is about, please go to drmaggieu.com and you can register to watch our free training just to learn more about um, what our program is about. And uh, join our Facebook group. It's Transform Autoimmune Disease Naturally. And in our Facebook group, we have tons of interviews with real people with real outcomes just like Amanda. Uh, and they have a lot of different stories and experiences that'd be great for you to watch so you understand that there is a community out there that's different. There is a program out there that really does educate people to really be powerful themselves to get outcomes just like Amanda's. So Amanda, thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> We love you. Uh, love you guys. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Look out, world. Here she comes. Yes, that's <laughs> right.